Hi everyone, I'm George Castro. This is going to be a quick demo of uh, how multitasking works in Unity and how I use it with multiple desktops. So in the past I've used uh, control alt arrow keys to move around my GNOME 2 desktop and hitting alt tab and then clicking things on the bottom panel. So uh, just to give you a quick demonstration of how to multitask, I will open all these applications here to kind of give you a like a uh, busy kind of desktop that you know a typical multitasker would have so here uh, you know normally I would I would alt tab and that's still available to me um, you know super D minimizes everything here uh, and these arrows kind of show me what's running at the time so these this panel here or the launcher here on the left kind of replaces the bottom panel um, in addition I have other things available to me that I didn't have uh, before that I would use often when not using Unity and that's the Super W shortcut which gives me kind of an overview access of all my documents and also um, the ability to use super shortcuts with the launcher so when I hold down the super key um, I see that all my applications have been assigned a number based on the order that they're on the launcher so no matter what when I'm in my spreadsheet I always know that my browser is going to be Super 2 so I can hit that let's say I have multiple um, uh, browsers launched. Let's say for the sake of argument here, actually it's probably easier for me to just hit control N here a few times. Let's say I have a whole bunch of these open. I always know that my browser is going to be Super 2, so I'm typing in here. I want to see what's in my browser. I can hit Super 2 and have all my browsers come up and say, whoa, that's a little bit too many. Um, so I can hit it again and it'll just show me all the browsers in one window. Now this is just one desktop, right? Um, so I, I don't really work this way. Most advanced Linux users I know, um, we assign things to certain things, right? So I say, you know, all my browsers are going to be in this work desktop here. I'm going to do my spreadsheet, or I'm sorry, my, you know, my documented here somewhere. You know, over here I'm going to have my mail, uh, you know, or, or in this case let's just say it's a text editor. So now I have things arranged, uh, you know, the way I expect them to be. And on top of that, I have the tabs in the browser new windows in the browser, super shortcuts that will take me to whatever is launched so I can do super 3 will always take me back to the writer, right? Uh, super 8, sorry, super 8 will, uh, sorry, that's actually working, I'm hitting the wrong key on my keyboard, um, you know, will always take me back to the other thing. So w how I envision advanced users working with the launcher here is, uh, you know, you'll, you'll kind of categorize the apps that you care about the most and you'll have muscle memory on what to go. You know, using it for the past six months, I already know that, you know, Super One will always take me to my files, so I've started to use that shortcut very heavily. And as I have more um, Nautilus windows around, um, you know, I just know that Super One will take me to those, and then I can select them either way. I can do this with the keyboard or the mouse. And then, of course, now this isn't really, uh, doesn't really show up very well using the workspace switcher. And I have TwinView, so in addition to all four of those monitors, I have an existing more monitors, uh, you know, in my workspace. So I use this view here when I'm on my laptop, but uh, since my panels are so big when I zoom out as much, it's not as useful to me. So I personally find it quicker to just switch to that desktop, and then doing the Super W will just, you know, give me a better view of that. So that's basically my demo of how I multitask in Unity. I find it to be, um, you know, kind of an evolution of what we had in GNOME 2. Um, you know, kind of adding the expose type things and those things that we had in Copies and kind of melding those with the shortcuts that we had in GNOME 2. And the addition of these super shortcuts really make uh, the entire thing uh, a lot more uh, keyboard friendly to me. And as a multitasker, that's all I go on is muscle memory. So anyway, I hope this video was informative to you, and I uh, hope you'll give it a shot. Thanks.